What's good folks, Rudd's here. Tonight's soap review is going to feature Katie's Bubbles Revolution. Uh, this is the latest release by Katie's Bubbles, uh, available on their website as well as Maggot Razors when I uh, checked earlier today. And uh, it's available in their soap, splash, and eau de parfum. Uh, each has its own price. I'm not sure if there's a bundle price for it all, but check them out if you're interested for sure. Um, this is another Haitian vetiver centered scent in the uh, what many are calling the trilogy between that 322 as well as the uh, Katie's Bubbles Dark Side soap that Chris Collin collaborated with me on. Thanks to uh, John Andreas for sending me a real hefty sample of this for uh, review purposes. So, as you can guess, Revolution is aimed to uh, invoke the thoughts of the ink and paper used to uh, sign the Declaration of Independence. And uh, this is definitely bold and unique. Uh, although it's a two-note accord consisting of Haitian vetiver and cedarwood, it's extremely well blended and quite a bit different from the other two soaps that many uh, think may come to mind because of the Haitian vetiver uh, centric note. <clears throat> um, to my nose, this smells like old books with fountain pen ink on them. It's uh, quite lighter than um, Katie's Bubbles 322, which is, I'd say, a a uh, polarizing scent for many because of the uh, ripe rotting fruit note that um, many smell in it. Um, this one is quite a bit more soft and elegant but it's still bold and, and quite foreboding because of that smoky Haitian vetiver note. Uh, I actually get a bit of the cedar first uh, before the Haitian vetiver rolls in to uh, the accord and kind of takes over and dominates, in my opinion. The scent strength on this soap is mid-strong, both off of the um, sample that I put in a container, and uh, it remains mid-strong once lathered. And for comparable soaps available in the wet shaving space I'd recommend checking out the holy cow dark vetiver or perhaps grooming department basique you all know by now I have a uh, strong affinity for Katie's bubbles uh, luxury soap base which the soap is offered in it is still the uh, gold standard for me for vegan soap bases. When properly hydrated, this soap dials in uh, with the consistency of Greek yogurt. It has a very nice uh, sheen to it, quite a bit of cushion. Slickness is elite level slickness regardless of soap base type. And uh, that would be both primary and residual slickness, in uh, my opinion. The post shave is the absolute best in class for any vegan soap and stands up with all the tallow soaps on the market. This is the first soap to really bridge that vegan tallow gap. There have been a few more in recent uh, time to have done that but this one was the first and remains one of the best post shaves out there given all the accolades um, the shave score for this soap base is a 95 which puts it in line with soap bases such as declaration grooming bison tallow as well as Ariana and Evans Tallow and goat milk. All right, folks, we're back. Uh, excellent face and dome shade was had by the uh, Katie's Bubbles Revolution. Um, 
I don't have the matching aftershave because this is on the uh, Mrs. Rudd's unapproved list as are most uh, dark earthy and uh, just earthy in general sense. So we'll be finishing off with the Katie's Bubbles 322 to ensure that I'll be sleeping on the couch tonight. Um, as always, thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. Comment below if you have anything to say. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. See ya.